Good day, ladies and gents. Time to share my settings for patch 0 0.15. Um, so I've done a couple of tests, especially on Lighthouse and Sheets. And generally speaking, right now, it seems that your RAM is not getting filled as much as it used to when you play on higher textures. On Sheets, I was getting, um, I was playing on high settings, high texture quality, I would get 23 gigabytes of my RAM used. And it was, if I was playing on medium or low, I would get 13.5 gigs of RAM used and that's without the sheets lower texture resolution mode so if you play sheets uh, and you have less than uh, 32 gigs of RAM if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM make sure you play on medium or on lowest like never play on high and generally speaking my results about texture quality were inconclusive I don't think it affected my FPS too much but at the same time I have a good GPU so if you have a good GPU you can play on high settings you can play on medium settings and if you have a lower end GPU um, I would probably play on lower um, texture quality Shadows quality doesn't really affect FPS much, um, but at the same time, I don't really see much of a difference, so I keep it on low. Object LED quality is um, a setting which determines how far away from you small objects render. For example, let's say there's something on the ground that you want to loot, like an AFAC, right? And uh, the higher this number is, the higher the number of object load quality, the further away you will see it. So like if I, lo if I, if I walk really far away, um, at a certain distance, it will stop rendering. And the higher the setting is, the longer the distance. At the same time, it really affects the FPS. Especially on maps like Lighthouse and the Sheets. For example, if I look towards the middle of the map, we can see that they have 141 FPS tops. 140, right? And if we change the setting to max, boom. Now I'm at 131. So it lowers your frames by like 5%. So I personally think keeping this on low um, is the best for your FPS. 5% of your FPS is quite a big number, so we're going to keep it on low. Overall visibility determines the distance at which um, some of the main feather objects render. For example, a good example would be a lighthouse right here. So with this setting, you cannot see the lighthouse, even though it's uh, right in front of my face. And if we increase this setting, it will start rendering. Boom, there we go, it renders now. It also lowers frames, but it doesn't happen as drastically. Um, so this setting, I think we can play around with it, maybe put it like on 1500 or something. Um, so that's um, up to you. Lowers frames a little bit, but not too much. T uh, clouds quality, I didn't really see any changes in FPS. Um, I'm gonna put it on high. I absolutely love the new clouds. They, they look phenomenal. So gonna <laughs> maximize uh, my pleasure for me. Uh, then we have anti-aliasing. Um, it's your choice. I think on off TL TAA, it doesn't make any difference in performance. TA high, not sure. I'm playing on TAA. That's what I enjoy. Uh, personal choice. Basically, anti-aliasing makes the edges of different objects smoother and uh, there is no pixelation at the edge. Uh, but uh, it's up to you. If you don't like anti-aliasing, disable it. NVIDIA DLSS, I don't think there are any changes since the last wipe. However, BG added FSR 3.0. FSR 3.0 works exactly the same as NVIDIA DLSS, except it works for all the cards. Basically, it lowers the, your uh, resolution from original to, let's say, 720p or 1080p. And then using AI, it upscales it to better resolution. Um, you can play around with it if you have a lower end card and you play on 1080p or on 2K, it will help you with FPS. In my case, it doesn't help me out because I have 4080 and I'm bottlenecked by my CPU, but overall FSR 3 is uh, a good thing. Worth trying it out. If you have a lower end card, try on, try it on uh, balance or performance, try those two modes. See if you get uh, better FPS because the game looks the best um, on those two. Ultra performance, it looks like uh, Minecraft. Uh, resampling, resampling just changes your resolution, put it on 1x and don't touch it. HBO is uh, shadows, basically um, with HBO turned off, uh, you get like usual shadows, with it turned on you get better shadows. However, the problem of HBO is that it changes your FPS drastically, like you see that some of those shadows are more darker, that's what it does. Uh, but it also tanks your FPS a lot, so I disable it. Um, I would prefer my FPS much better than high quality... Shadows, sorry about that. SSR is uh, space screen reflections. For example, if you look um, on the ocean, you can see the reflection of the water, right? And uh, if, the, if it's raining, there is water outside. It reflects as well. There are some glass reflections as well. That's what SSR does. If you disable it, your reflections are gonna disappear. That's it, no more reflections. 
Um, I put it on low. Um, low doesn't affect performance too much. I could barely see any difference in FPS. However, if you put it on high, it does affect it drastically. So I would not use it on high. I would use it on low or on off um, to, maximize, uh, to maximize your performance. So on low, you still get good reflections. They're still nice. And you don't tank your FPS drastically. So you can do that. Next thing is anisotropic filtering. Basically, um, the further the lines go, for example, if there is a road going far away, the lines of the road, the size of the road, they're going to be more precise and more straight and render better with uh, anisotropic filtering enabled. However, I personally couldn't see much of a difference. Some people say there is. Um, I personally couldn't see the difference, so I keep it on off. Uh, NVIDIA reflex low latency is supposed to decrease your input, input lag when you move your mouse, um, supposed to be better. And at the same time, it disables the FPS cap. That's the reason I use it because there is no FPS cap and like I'm getting 180, 200 FPS um, on Lighthouse. So um, don't want to cap my frames to 140. Next we have uh, sharpness. I don't really use it. Um, lobby FPS, whatever. MIP shimming, I haven't given it uh, much of a go, but if you have a really low end GPU, something like 1650 or 1660, or 2060 or 3060 you might give it a go it might give you a boost with uh, fps especially on maps like sheets and lighthouse um, so give it a go the only downside of MIP shimming might be unless bg fixed it is when you load out of the rate you will have a black screen for like 40 seconds um, so if you do have a black screen at the end of the rate for 40 seconds and it's not a server problem it is to do with MIP shimming so make sure you remember that when you enable those settings then we have high quality color, it doesn't affect much, I disable it. Z blur makes the game look blurry and bad, same as uh, chromatic abbreviations. Noise disable, all of this, you don't need this, trust me, the game looks much better without this. Grass shadows, your choice. Uh, generally speaking, it doesn't really affect much because it renders only right next to you. So like if you see grass right there, even if I enable shadows, they're not going to render, they're going to render like right next to me. So I don't really see much of a point in doing so because like like rendering grass shadows that I actually I'll show you so this grass is right next to us right we're gonna enable that setting grass shadows boom boom now it has shadows but if we look far let's say for example here there is no shadows so this is literally like what five meters away and there is no shadows I don't really see much point so I do disable this um, all right let's go through my other settings and then let's go to Nvidia panel um, I have used only physical cores enabled, however, I also disabled uh, multi-threading in my BIOS. You can search how to do that, that's supposed to make your game more stable. It doesn't really increase your FPS drastically, but it should make it more or less stable. Automatic RAM cleaner doesn't really help much um, with uh, the memory leaks, so I disable it, no point using it. Uh, all of this is uh, personal. Here is my post effects, if you want to see, uh, if you want to copy it, see how my game looks like, if you like. Uh, the contrast and everything here you go sound i run this on 100 but while making youtube video i lowered it everything else is on 40 and hideout volume is on 20. i do use binaural audio it um it allows me to direct enemies much better when it comes to horizontal directions vertically obviously it's uh, messed up and you can't hear them and it's very confusing at times but uh, horizontally it's uh, good it doesn't cause any stutters and i think it doesn't affect your fps too much so I do enable it. Um, here are my controls. If anybody wants to go through and copy them, they are really, really um, efficient. The only thing that I might change about my controls is swapping back to V, uh, the knife, because right now your knife is on you. And uh, I've tested the new mechanic of uh, your guy like le leaning um, on different objects. Well, I need a wall to do this, but basically using V and when your guy leans to the wall uh, is just not effective. It doesn't work. So I don't really use that. Um, and let's go to my NVIDIA panel. NVIDIA control panel. I don't really change too much in my NVIDIA control panel. Uh, I increase gamma by 30%, I believe. It's at 1.9. And generally speaking, changing different 3D settings... Uh, all of this you can do it in game and generally I couldn't really see much of a performance boost doing any of this. Maybe there will be some uh, adjustments later in the way but in my video control panel I only increase my gamma and uh, that is it. So feel free to copy my settings to get the best FPS. I don't think you can get anything better um, 
any better settings like literally you cannot get better fps unless you use these settings so yeah thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends tell me which settings you're using down in the comments below and uh, i will see you in the next uh, video